All right, Stephen, see you then. Well, people are talking about it everywhere today, and you see it right there. Crazy lightning that lit up the night sky over Pittsburgh. Albie Oxenreiter's son captured this video from on top of Mount Washington. Pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Take a look at these pictures captured by local photographer David DiCello. Channel 11's Lori Hoy spoke with him about what it was like to be out in that lightning storm as he tried to get the perfect shot. We're here on Mount Washington, and this is where freelance photographer Dave DiCello literally braved last night's storm and captured incredible images. Uh, whenever I got that first lightning strike last night, I actually, I was like, yes! Like, <laughs> I, I, got, I got excited because it's, 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 it's really fun. The powerful storm started rolling through the city of Pittsburgh around 9 o'clock last night. Dave DiCello positioned himself on an overlook on Grandview Avenue and took this amazing time-lapse video. And these bolts were some of the closest, some of the biggest, and, and some of the more fr most frequent I've seen. DiCello used a lightning trigger device on his camera with a wide-angle lens to capture this light show over the city. He shared his pictures with Channel 11 that show the huge bolts of lightning, including one with three simultaneous bolts. This is my favorite capture of the night. This is the triple lightning strike that simultaneously hit uh, Neville Island, probably up in Bellevue, and then that hit on the other side of 279 in the Troy Hill area. During a torrential downpour last night, the lightning got too close for comfort. DiCello ran for cover, but then decided to go for it again. And now it's almost every storm I try to make it out because every lightning strike looks different um, to me, and the storms come in different places, and, and so it's, just, it's kind of a, a rush. And DiCello tells me he plans on taking more storm pictures today. From Mount Washington, Lori Hoy, Channel 11 News.